Hello this is Carlo and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial um, I'm going to be sh trying to show you guys or will show you guys how to export a model from Max and put it into Elements in After Effects. So this is going to Elements 3D in After Effects. So let's open a pre-composited model. Um, so we're going to go to Open. Open File here and then let's select the 7 series so we've got my 7 series here um, the problem with this obviously is when you export to elements um, you're going to only export the model you're not going to export the textures the textures will have to be exported separately um, while you're in elements so um, I'll try and show you that as we go on okay so now you've got your model selected and you're all ready to go you're going to come up to here then you're going to come to export and why is that happening right so we're going to try a different model because I, I think I've already exported that that's what the problem is okay so let me go to open my vault let's go to open a file um, so we're going to go to open open existing and let's open something else so let's have a look what we can open. So we've got a woman here. So we're just going to open her. So keep settings the same. So we've got a woman here. Oh, she's disappeared. Um, don't worry, just keep that the same. She disappears, it doesn't really matter. Um, she's all the way there in the distance, if you can see her. Uh, let's just drag her here. Bring her over. And select angle points. Let's bring her into position. So basically, what you want to do is when you've actually got her, you're going to come up to here. You're going to come up to, down to your export, and then you're going to export your selected. So click on export selected and then you're going to open this little box here and then you're going to export her as an obj file give her a title whatever title you want so i'll call her girl and basically click save it to your desktop that's what i normally do save it to save it to my desktop so i know where she's going click on save now in this box here you you'll, you'll normally be set to quads so what you want to do is keep it selected to triangles and very simple click export Skip that, skip that. These are just the textures that it's missing out. So click this box here, select, done. So now when you go to your desktop, you should have her on your desktop here and here. So this is the OBJ file right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up After Effects. Now do remember when you're exporting from Max to to Cinema uh, to Elements, sorry, in After Effects, that she is not going to have no textures. So the textures you are going to have to apply separately. Okay, so we're inside um, After Effects at the moment, so we're going to keep that, let that load up for a sec. Okay, so we're going to create a new composition. Keep the settings the same. And then we're going to create a layer. We're going to come down and we're going to create a new solid. Keep it black. The search bar, we're going to type in elements. I'm going to drag elements into our composition. Let elements load. Okay, so elements is loaded. So we're going to go to our scene setup. And here we've got elements loaded. Then we're going to click on the import button, go to our desktop, and then we're going to find the OBJ, OBJ, so shall I say, the girl which is here, and then we're just going to double click. So like I say, like I just said, we're going to bring her into position here, and we're going to zoom in best we can. Obviously, this has happened because the way I actually exported her was wrong. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to do it with a different model just to show you guys 
what I mean. So we're not going to save that. So I'm going to come back out of here. Quit after, uh, quit after Effects. Open Max again. And then we're going to start a new project. Not save it. So basically Max will in export a project exactly how you left it within um, Max. So if you've left a, a model in a bit of a mess, that's the way it will basically export it to um, After Effects. So let's open um, a big file. Um, let's open a home. Keep the settings the same. Okay, this is a home been working on okay now what we want to do is um, like I've just said um, elements will export it without textures so we're going to come down to here we're going to click on export and for some reason it's not let me, let me export it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on export button here and then I'm going to find the OBJ file sequence here and then I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it home like that now obviously with big models it's coming up when you go to the top not to export it it's not letting you do it because it's saying it doesn't want you to do it and um, so we're going to keep the settings the same and then we're going to click on export click on this button and this is basically um, the maps this is just the textures like I've said but normally we, if you was using cinema you can actually bake the textures so um, we're not actually going to bake the textures because what I'd rather do is add the textures later on within elements so we click on skip let it run the process obviously the more models you've got within um, max the longer it's going to take to export which is only natural so we've got five warnings so if we look at the warnings as you can see here it's missing the textures that's the only thing it's missing but it's not a problem because we can add that on um, when we're actually inside elements and not being funny we can actually make it look um, a lot better as well so we're going to shrink that and then we're going to reopen as you can see it's giving me an OBJ right there so we're going to open up um, After Effects and we're going to do a composition again keep the settings the same always create a new layer you need a new solid obviously if you want to open up elements you can either open up elements by typing in elements there and dragging it into your composition or you can go up to effects if you want video copilot elements same thing so we're going to go to the scene setup once more now this is going to be quite a big model so we're going to select on the import click on the home and let it export your home we'll just basically wait this is going to be a big model so this should export well as you can see it's loading models elements is only basically designed to open um, single models um, but as you can see it's opened that complete floor plan quite well um, so what we can do is we can actually zoom in we can sort of pan around zoom into the property and as you can see like I've just said before elements has recognized it without the textures but that's absolutely no problem because we can get our maps from inside Max. And what I'll do is I'll just quickly give you a rough idea of how we would do that. First of all, let's change our environment. So we're gonna come down to here and then we're gonna pick an environment that's close enough to um, a home. So we're gonna call our studio, studio warm, which is absolutely fine. And then select our lighting and change that to cinema. And then what we're gonna do, we are gonna try our best to find the um, textures for this so what we do is we go to the first texture keep it at default right click duplicate and then what we're going to do is we're going to select here we're going to come down we're going to load from file and then what we're going to do is we are going to search around for our max projects so normally max will be based within your documents folder so we're going to go to folder 3ds max we are going to go to preview no it's not going to be in previews um, just give me a second to find out where my files are because I'm not sure but we will find them I think the best way to do it is just click on them all really so archives um, render outputs 
some reason we can't find our projects. This is a bad habit of mine, I never prep before a tutorial, but we will get it in the end. Um, okay, that's not a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to do it the easy way around. So let's just open up Google and just say, for instance, let's have a wood texture. So wood texture. Okay. Type that in. So we've got some wood textures here. Let's pick one nice. Um, we're going for the flooring, which would be this one. View large image. This is basically how I model my things and get my textures. So I'm just going to save that somewhere quite easy. So like my desktop, save that. And then once that's done, shrink. And then we're going to go back to load from file and it should be there. So as you can see, straight away, um, Elements has sort of picked it up um, and added it to my um, model straight away without no, no messing around. So what you can do is you can get sort of creative, I mean, you know, with what you want to do within Elements, but obviously after you've done all your texturing, click OK. What that will do, that will put it straight into um, After Effects, and then what you want to do, you're going to go to Layer, New, create a camera for that keep the camera to 80 millimeter because obviously it's a large area to cover and then once we've done that we'll have a camera in our elements bay um, or our after it's bay click on our camera then we can orbit around and then we can bring it in zoom into our property or right, our silly little home shall I say like so And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pan around. Um, obviously, like, like I've just said, all we've done is uh, the walls, but I'm just giving you a rough idea how you would um, add your texture straight away into elements. Okay, let's try and zoom through that wall like that. Okay, now another important feature, obviously, sorry, let me put it like that, is lighting. So obviously, layer, new, sorry, layer, new, lights so what we're going to do is we are going to create a parallel lights here click on this let's get some wood texture going here click OK and then let's drop some lighting in there and what that's done is giving you sort of an ambient feeling bring the lights say to about that point maybe a bit higher like that let's select our camera again and around the room like so and obviously I'm not going to texture this whole model because um, that will be very sort of time consuming but what we can do is create another layer new let's create another light and this time let's have an ambient light um, change the setting color to about there white click OK and don't worry if it's actually like that and if it actually goes like that because what we do so we're just going to open up our light settings down here and then we're going to bring our intensity all the way down and maybe a little bit up to say about four and that will give you an element of sun in the room and um, so when you actually finally do render the project um, you're going to get a good effect so what we're going to do let's have a bit of camera footage we're going to hit P on the keyboard make a keyframe bring it forward to about seven frames and then we're going to rotate the camera just a little bit like so and then as you can see we have created a bit of movement in the camera click our render let it render out and then we've got an automatic um, a little bit of a panning of the room but like I say um, it's quite easy to do um, you know the only pain in the neck is actually when you have to re-add your textures but I think when you're within After Effects and when you're with Elements um, because it's such a fast process Elements um, it makes it very easy for you to render out a project and just make them added tweaks um, that you want within your project so I hope this has been helpful as you can see we've got a nice little bit of a pan there 
Um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I will be coming back for another tutorial um, on baking. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what baking is, it basically means adding your textures um, already um, to your project within Mac. So when you actually export it to Mac, it's already done. Um, but like I say, um, this is the best way to do it because you can get some nicer finishes um, within the project because you can tweak it up within elements as well. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.